hi everyone welcome back to the laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the module so these are some key points that we are going to study in this video so first of all we will learn some theoretical part about the model then uh, because it's a basically all about the database then we have to do some database configuration then we will make controller router and a model also and then we will write a small code for uh, uh, fetching the data from model to uh, model to on the screen all right so now uh, let's start with the first question what is the model so uh, basically this is a part of mvc which is a uh, uh, model view controller and in here model will be related to your data of your application all right and in the laravel as well as in the mvc when you just have to connect your application with your database system then you will create a model Alright, if you just want to put some dummy data as in JSON or an array, then you can also put inside the model. Uh, the this is also fine. But the main thing and the uh, of the model is when we just create the database connection, we will use the model. Alright. So now let's start with the uh, database configuration. And before that, I'm just going on the Chrome and just opening my PHP admin so that I can check my database name and all alright so I'm just going to play with the YouTube database name and here here I have the two tables which is the company and another is the users alright so first of all I'm just going to open the my configuration file and it will it will be placed inside the uh, con config and database.php alright when you just scroll here then you will find a MySQL and here you can see that uh, when you just uh, find the username, uh, database, and password, there is a N, uh, env function. What is that? That means we should not have to change directly here. We have to change inside the env file. Why? Because the according to the Laravel standard, env file is an environmental file, and we have put the uh, credential inside the environmental file. All right. So where you will find the environmental file? You will find this file inside your root. So here you can see that dot env file here. All right. So if you don't find the env file, then uh, you can rename the dot env dot example file. The both file are very similar, and you can copy the code from here for going to the initial config. Tick. All right. So here I am just going to put my database name is YouTube, and password in my case is Red Hat at the right one two three in your case it could be blank or anything else all right and this is the local host is uh, fine for me okay so all configuration is done now so now what we have to do I'm just going to make a controller for that I'm just going to uh, start with the command prompt and him writing here PHP artisan make controller and my controller name is users all right so just hit the enter and uh, just go inside the application inside the HTTP controller and just refresh then you will find a user here alright so I'm just going to make a function here like uh, public function DB or whatever you want to put maybe DB is the default function so I'm just going to fetch or index I'm just going to put the index function name so that uh, it it should not be conf uh, conflict and going to put a small echo so that I can before getting the data I can just set up the everything all right and after that I have to set up the route for set up the router I have to go inside the inside the route folder and uh, web.php so I'm just going to write here route scope resolution method and get and inside the get I'm just going to put here DB and in the second parameter I'm just going to put the users at the rate my uh, function name, which is index alright and now let's uh, try to hit the DB and let's see what's going on now you can see that we got that okay then everything is achieved here and now the two points are remained so let's make a model when you just make a model it will be just come inside the app on without any folder it should be come here okay 
so now just uh, right here one more command php artisan make model and my model name is user okay it should not be plural because model is always be singular all right so just try to refresh it and now you can see that there is a model okay some code some amount of code is already returned here the everything is fine so after that we just have to write some code to fetch the data okay so now we have to decide from which table we have to fetch the data so obviously we make a model name here is user so we will fetch the data from the users because when we just make a module it it can be automatically connected with the table which is the user all right it's a singular table name equal equal to uh, model name plural right that means tb name equal to model name should be plural like s yes. and if our table name is this then my model name it should be this okay it can be changed but this is the customization but by default laravel said that if your table is uh, plural then the, with the same name you can put the middle uh, model name singular all right the users suits with the users so now i'm just going to import it this model inside my controller for that i'm just going to write here use app user all right and now i'm just going to return user scope resolution method all and let's see what's going on uh, now you are able to see the whole data here that's good and even you can uh, you make it fine with the id of one two or three whatever whatever is that okay so this is the very basic so now let's say uh, your model name is not uh, perfectly uh, match with your database table name then what you have to do for that you just have to go inside the username and let's say with the model name users i want to fetch the data from company that how you can do that for that i just have to put here a single line of code which is protected dollar table name and here you can put the table name all right now you will see that when you just got the data let's try to fetch the old data here the data will come from your company table okay so now you can see that the name of company is samsung and google let's check it here all right okay so here you can also use the find method with the one or whatever you want to put okay so maybe there is a uh, id start from the 100 or from one so now you can just write the 100 and you will get your data so this is the all about the model that how you can use the model and what is the model and uh, the match table name and without match table name you will got everything if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video